back early today. Did you find something new? Sort of. We're mostly sure now that we're not in a time loop. And we also aren't in the real world. But at the same time, we have a new question. Hmm, leaving the city. As far as I remember, you've mentioned your plans to do that twice before. We did? But we don't remember anything. What happened after we talked about those plans? What did we say when we got back? <sighs> Let me think. I don't think you ever actually told me what the outcome was. Oh, it's probably more accurate to say that both times, you never came back the whole night. But you two sometimes stay out the entire night anyway, so at the time, I didn't think too much about it. It is true that sometimes we lose track of time during our investigations. Before we know it, it'll already be the next day. But still, neither of us remember anything about leaving town. Really? That's kind of strange. In theory, I should have already awakened all your memories. Yep. Something here's definitely fishy. Let's get to the bottom of this tomorrow. Begin. Traveler, aside from your memories that were just restored, I have another message for you. Listen to it and you'll understand. Can't go back. There are countless spaces here. Our Subzerus festival in Sumeru City is just one of them. Traveler, you should be missing two days worth of memories. Paimon will fill you in. Why can't we leave the city? What is the academia up to now? Don't ask me. It's not like I can tell you anything. This is a direct order from the Grand Sage. Just wait until tomorrow. I have a real emergency. My goods have already arrived at Port Ormos. If I don't hurry, they'll be stolen. That's your problem. Make sure you make a request in advance next time. But, but it's not like you can just predict business matters in advance. <laughs> it looks like the Academia already announced a lockdown for Sumeru City today. How completely unsurprising. Let's go and question them. Hello, sir. Why can't we leave the city today? Here we go again. Don't ask me. I don't know either. We just received an order that no one is allowed to enter or exit Sumeru today. They didn't tell us anything else. <laughs> Angering me won't get you anywhere. If I had that kind of insider info, I would have left this stupid post long ago. It looks like he really doesn't know. If we can't get anything out of him, let's take matters into our own hands. Why don't we climb over the walls? Those guards can't be everywhere at once. This is a good spot, and the guard hasn't noticed us at all. Let's hurry! Huh? Why? Are you going to leave Paimon behind? But, but... What if things get really weird out there and you get into some trouble? Then... Paimon won't be able to help you. Ooh, Paimon knows that Paimon can't do much, but... We've always been together. Haven't we? Mm. Okay. Paimon will wait for you. Promise Paimon that you'll come back as soon as possible. Just a quick look. And please, be careful.
Everyone, calm down. He's here now. I don't think he understood what you were saying. <laughs> Paimon doesn't care. Paimon wanted to go look for you, but you also said that Paimon should stay. Paimon was so worried and so scared the entire day. <gasps> okay. Paimon will forgive you. The most important thing is that you didn't actually disappear. Oh, Paimon was so scared that you had gone into another world! Okay, Paimon, can you tell us your perspective of what really happened yesterday? Hmm, I see. Using two people's different perspectives. After that, you left the city. Paimon kept her eyes on you the whole time, but then you... disappeared in an instant! No way! Paimon was watching you with the fullest attention! What's your perspective, Traveler? You sure you don't have any memory of this? I guess that explains everything. You also lost your memories the last two times you tried to leave the city. Those days' memories can't be awoken. So, if we leave the city, our memories will be completely erased? It really sounds like something big outside of the city is being hidden on purpose. But this way, we'll also never discover what's outside! Something like... a message? But how can we send it back? D don't look at me like that. I'm... I'm not used to being stared at. Well... Okay, okay. You want something that can pass on messages, right? Give me some time and take care of Dunyar's out for me. Yep! Now we're talking! Here you go. What? Isn't this just an Akasha terminal? I made some little changes. Akasha terminals are already capable of sending messages. I just tweaked it so that it could connect to any node. To make something like this? Nahira, you really know the Akasha like the back of your hand. Anyway, we can use this now to record a message, right? Yep. <laughs> I'll help you save the messages. It should be pretty easy to use. I just can't guarantee the user's status and signal coverage when they're outside the city. We'll never know until we try. At least we're taking the initiative now. Let's go then. Let's expose those sages! Uh, all right. Hyman isn't as worried about being separated since it happened once yesterday. But... Paimon still isn't happy about it. Okay, see you tomorrow, Traveler! That covers everything that's happened so far! <sighs> yes, although the signal was choppy and had some interference, we still managed to receive two messages from you when you were outside. Okay, now that you understand what's going on, let's hear the messages together! Can't go back. There are countless spaces here. Our Subzerus festival in Sumeru City is just one of them. I've entered another space. Before me are flowing sandstone and howling fish. Impossible and surreal sights. All these spaces are empty except for the occasional ones that contain mute puppets rather than people. I can't sense any human presence. Completely normal when Paimon was looking out from the inside. 
That's unbelievable. And if we take your word for it, the other spaces all had very weird contents. There's another part here. We only received it last night. These spaces have been disappearing one after the other, absorbed by something like a sun in the sky. And now, even the final space has also disappeared. Behind me, a lot of spaces just appeared again from thin air. I get it now. Those spaces are actually... Probably because yesterday just happened to end at that moment. Oh, right. Paimon did hear a beep from the Akasha. Did it come from here or from the message? The message. It should have come from the Traveler's Akasha Terminal. After the beep, Traveler said even the final space has also disappeared. <sighs> Traveler, what do you think that final space could have been? Was that space actually the real world? But wouldn't a real space just randomly disappearing like that be catastrophic? That doesn't sound right. I need... Was that space actually the real world? Was that space actually the real world? But what... All the bizarre spaces I saw outside the city had one thing in common. A lack of human presence. That doesn't sound right. I need to care... All the bizarre spaces I... Was that space actually... All the bizarre spaces I saw... All the bizarre spaces I saw... All the bizarre spaces I saw outside the city had... All the bizarre spaces... Go back. There are countless spaces here. Our Subzerus festival in Sum I've entered another space. Before me are flowing sandstone and howling fish. All these spaces are empty except for the occasional ones that contain mute puppets rather than people. 